All right. Week four. Halfway to spring break. Think about it. 136, Linux. We, uh, if you have any questions on the curriculum, working your way through that. Um, we talked about reflect on your work. Like when you take those exams, look at the answers you got wrong. Don't just blow it off. Um, time on task. Make sure you're putting quality time on tasks that you focus when you work on the stuff. Focus in class and when you study. Look at your um, time that you spend. Make sure you're getting your sleep. Take care of your health. We filled out some forms on the PCs. Talked a little bit about processes and threads. Did a little bit more work on the uh, command line interface. We talked about this idea of when you have program and you bring it into memory and the processor is going to process those instructions in there there's some type of context where it keeps track of which instruction it lasts and which instruction it's going to perform okay and then the difference between is it running under user mode or kernel mode for example we have a, a program and we bring it from memory and it becomes a process in memory and then it's ready to run and then the process then is running under user mode and then user mode has the kernel do something like I don't know get some data off the hard drive so then it blocks that one and it can actually, you know, process other instructions while it's getting that data. If you want to think about it that way. Then it brings it back to ready mode. And then it goes back in and starts executing again. Now, if if we're just working on one process, we can think of it keeping track of two major things. The uh, code and the um, dynamic memory, dynamically allocated memory. And then we have that whole idea of the context, keeping track of what instruction is going to be executed when. Now, we think of that, keeping track of that as a thread. That's a pretty general definition. But what we talked about today is it is possible to multi-thread. You can have be sharing this data but actually be keeping track of more than one context as far as uh, operations getting done in the computer. So you can multi-thread. Now what will become important on that later on is when we talk a little bit next week about how do you how do you synchronize that? You know when you're having different instructions that are using the same data, so to speak. So we'll talk a little bit about how they get synchronized and a little bit about scheduling next week. Okay, so I didn't write them down, but we did a number of commands. We, um, we made some directories. We we did um, some copying of files, moving files, moving between directories, and we talked a little bit about the assignment that you're currently working on, students are currently working on. That was due tonight, okay? And um, I also mentioned the students need to make sure they have an account so we can log into the machine with a password <clears throat> either remotely or in the classroom. So <clears throat> make sure you check what's due. You should be working in chapter five 
And if you have questions on anything, the curriculum, the quizzes, or the labs, let me know. And then we have this classwork. Something needs to be submitted tonight. Even if you don't get all of the command line items completed, make sure you get something done. <clears throat> so then um, we can go over that and be ready to move forward on Monday. That's it.